Have you ever seen a chest in Dead by Daylight and thought, what are the actual statistics of me pulling the item out that I want from this thing anyways? No? Well, I did. What's up guys, Dwight Main here. I opened 100 chests in Dead by Daylight and went through the footage and recorded everything on an Excel sheet. And I'm here to give you the math. Don't believe me? Well, the footage of me pulling item by item will remain on the top right for this entire video for those skeptics. But let's check out these car facts. Keep in mind this data was representative of the 2v8 event when 20 chests were given to us per match. While recording this video, I went through and um, I noticed that this Excel sheet that I have here is actually pretty disgusting to look at. So instead of having you guys look at this disgusting thing, I made a pie chart. So we can look at that instead. Uh, that is all. No perks were allowed and rarity and luck was not a part of it. So if you want to see me do this with plunder is instinct or luck added, leave a comment or like and show your interest. Given the base luck and opening chests, the result are pretty interesting. According to our stats, there's a 47% chance to pull a common item out of a chest, being that of a camping aid kit or worn out tools, a 24% chance to pull an uncommon rarity item, which pulls the arsenal to a higher rarity of a first aid kit or a toolbox, but also as the flashlight. There's a 21% chance to pull a rare rarity item, which honestly surprises me out of how many objects there are in this bracket, as we have two toolboxes, Commodious and Mechanics, the Emergency Med Kit, Sports Flashlight, and we gain access to two other items, the Broken Key and Map. Purple category being next, your Utility Flashlights, Alex's Toolboxes, Engineers, Toolboxes, got Doll Keys, and Ranger's Med Kits. But unfortunately, we were only left with 9% for this category, leaving a baffling 0% chance to get an iridescent being that of a rainbow map or a skeleton key. Now, keep in mind, the fact that we had a 0% chance for anything out of a 100 chest pull is a little baffling. But if you think about it, 2v8 was probably the biggest contributing factor to this, but it was the easiest way to gather data. Now, what do you guys think? Should I try this with 1,000 chests and increase the sample size? keep it 100 and just do like the regular mode? Should I do a comparison between plunderers and luck-based perks? Should I do one for add-ons? I don't know. But whatever is come up with or schemed in the comments, I'll pin and I'll go ahead and give it an attempt. But for now, peace off buckaroos, and by that I mean until the next video, hasta gamers.